That's where you get the scarecrow maps from. Plant store over there. Don't buy anything from there because they'll die in a week anyway. That is a sign of a very lazy scarecrow make, and I tell you why. So you can't be bothered to form the hands. That's a pet hate of mine. Technically not a scarecrow because there's no hay on it. Not a drop of hay inside. It's just a rag on a stick. I mean, I get it, but it's not making me feel nothing. Look at this. This, this is a monstrosity. That, I mean, I, I think, I know, I know this is Lens as well. I mean, he's a good scarecrow maker, but he's embarrassed himself this year with that. I'm, I mean, I'm laughing, but for all the wrong reasons. All right, Len. All right. What do you reckon? Pretty good, yeah. Take that grin off your face. You're grinning. Don't grin. I'm not grinning, Len. Oh, I think it's great, mate. Honestly. Go. I reckon I've got a chance this year. OK. You believe whatever you want to believe. That's fine. Well, I do believe, all right? Yeah, that's right. Whatever. Len, I'm not going to get in a fight with you today, all right? All right. I tell you why I'm going to win this year. Because I've got the best scarecrow and I've got the best pitch in the village. Because my pitch is in the centre of the festival. Nathan Daniels had that pitch last year and he won. And honestly, his scarecrow was the biggest part of shit I've ever seen. It was meant to be beautiful juice, yeah, but fuck me, did it look like Kerry. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Hang on. Okay, what's going on? Excuse me, this is my pitch. Exterminate. <laughs> yeah, very funny. Don't make me move it myself, please, mate. Exterminate. Mate, can you just be serious? This is my pitch, yeah? You don't understand, Vicky. Okay? He's on my pitch, yeah? The pitch I booked three months ago with Mrs Wicks. Well, there must be some kind of mix-up, because according to this sheet, your pitch is on Trowley Bottom Farm. <laughs> That's bullshit! That's a BFing and Jeffing. Sorry for swearing, but that is fucking bullshit. Why would I choose Trowley Bottom Farm when, A, no punters can be bothered to walk all the way down there, and, B, <laughs> it stinks of pig shit because it's on a fucking pig farm? I'm sorry for swearing, but this is fucked up! Curtin, this is your last warning on the swearing. I'm really sorry, but it's too late to change anything now. No. Your pitch is on Trowley Bottom Farm. No, absolutely not. No way. There's no chance I am going to Trowley Bottom Farm. That's the end of it. I ain't talking about it no more, Vicar. How am I going to get any votes being down here? It's baffling. I'm baffled by the entire situation, if I'm honest. Badly organised by the vicar. Major fuck up. Curtin can get very competitive. Like, we had to do the sponsored swim at school, and he was just obsessed with raising the most money for it. So he actually stole our nan's bank card and withdrew 500 quid, which meant that she couldn't get her teeth done. Well? What? D did you tell people to come down? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? The thing is, though, oh, it's buzzing up there. It really is buzzing. Oh, it's that right, dialect, yeah. though. Yeah. It is brilliant. It's yeah, just he's, so... Yeah, he's brilliant. Look, to be fair. it's so funny, bro. Yeah. I had a picture taken with yeah. you there. If you keep just go, take that and just oh, go to the left. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, that's a great it's one. Brilliant. That's another good one. <laughs> I love it. I love them all. That, yeah. that one especially. Brilliant! What the actual fuck? What the actual fuck? You have fucking lost your head, mate. You have lost your fucking head. I swear to God, if my phone is smashed, you are paying for that. Dickhead. <sighs> Listen to this. Kerry and Curtin lunchtime detention for making Robert Robinson ask a teacher what women is. He's Rob Robinson. You don't remember Robert Robinson? No. He was in our class in year six for like two terms and he just vanished. No one ever heard of him again. He had, instead of a rucksack, yeah, he had a suitcase on wheels and you, would, you started his nickname, which was Terminal Free. You started that. That was brilliant. You don't remember that? Robert Robinson. You don't remember. Year six camping trip, he brought in an old army camp bed and it had blood on it. No. We used to bog wash him so much the bleach in the toilet actually turned his hair white. No. Oh my God. 
But he had about three unruly deaf brothers, yeah? And he used to get picked up after school in a dirty old Land Rover full of flailing arms. No. You don't remember that? No. He used to write everything out in that uh, calculator font because he thought it was really cool. No. Oh, we made him eat a fucking bark sandwich, for fuck's sake. No. You don't remember that? No. Nothing? Nothing. Fuck! Right, I'm going to get slugs over. He was in our class, he'll remember. Please don't yes, get slugs over. He'll never leave. Me and Curtin have known slugs since school, and I've never met anyone who outstays their welcome more than him. Like, you'll say, sorry, Slugs, I can't stop a chat, I've got to go have my dinner. And he'll go, what are we having? Robert Robinson, yeah? He had a fat woman's ass and tiny, short little legs like a troll. Yeah, are you sure you're not talking about Slugs? Positive. He genuinely looked like a moomin. Yeah, so did Slugs. I know, but it ain't Slugs. His school jumper, yeah, was the most faded out of everyone's. He used to chew his sleeves to just threads. No. Oh. He bought in a bit of meteorite once, yeah, for show and tell, and Darren Lacey called him Apollo 13. No. God. He was obsessed with salamanders, yeah? And we saw him at a school fete and he was carrying around a little bank bag full of coppers and his face was painted like a salamander and he was hissing at dogs. How do you not remember Robert fucking Robinson? Oh my God, there's this website that allows you to watch a loaf of bread slowly going stale. Fucking hell, man. Stop it. What's it called? A loaf of bread cam. Seriously? He's not on Facebook. How can he not be on Facebook? Everyone's on Facebook. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe he changed his name because he got married. What? Oh, maybe he's not on Facebook because he doesn't exist. What about that tea towel? This is it. I got it. I got it. This is it. <gasps> there. That's him. Let me He's see. here. Rob Robinson. I got it. You see, right there. Rob Robinson. And that was him. And I was I, I knew it, didn't I? And that looks like him as well. That looks exactly like him. Oh, yes, turkey dinosaurs. Is it all right if I have some, Kat? Yeah, if you give me a bit of your pizza. That's that's not a fair swap. Well, do you have any more turkey dinosaurs then? Yeah, but I'm the guest. Guest? Right. You're here more than I am, mate, and it's my fucking oven. Whoa, right. whoa, what are you doing? You're letting the heat out, you lummock. No, I'm going to take your pizza and put it on the bottom shelf. What are you doing, you big old? Mine takes longer to cook, Curtin. No. That is just the way of the law. Yeah, but my pizza, yeah, has to be top shelf, otherwise it won't cook easily. Well, OK, here we go. Here's something for you. Why don't you give me some of your crust? And then I'll let you have top shelf. No. Here we go. This is my, going to be my best offer. Right. Because both of us want top shelf. I suggest what we do is cut the pizza in half. We can't do that, no, sorry. Why? Because I eat my pizza from the inside out, right? If you cut it in half, yeah, there's no inside to eat it out from. I don't use the basic size system, Ken, which is why I get so fussy at Pizza Hut. Why are you crying? I'm not crying, I'm just so hungry. I'm really sorry, Curtin, but at the end of the day, it is my oven, so I am going to have top shelf. But don't cut my pizza in half, please. I won't. No. It's just a pizza curtain. God care. I watched the most fucked up thing last night. What? It was this real life documentary, yeah, about this NASA experiment, yeah, yeah. where he sent this monkey into space in its own spacecraft. But when it hit a certain altitude, the monkey's head just exploded like a grape. So they sent this other monkey into space yeah. in its own spacecraft, and they sorted the altitude problem out, but because the scientists were so obsessed with doing that, they totally forgot to teach the monkey how to navigate its craft. So it just got lost in space for all time. Which I think is far worse, to be fair. Well done. Yeah? 
Me and Kerry's mum do not see eye to eye. We've had some proper stand-up blazing rows. Actually, just me stand up, she's always in bed. See, I live with my nan and we like things in a certain way. We like to know where everything is. But Kerry and her mum, they're just like two pigs rolling around in their own muck. Mum said you've got to leave. What? Why? Because you called her an old bat. She is an old bat. Are you in that? Kerry, come back now! We need to work for me! Now! You've got to leave now, yeah, mate. I heard her. Bye, Sue! If you want to have a laugh, but also be physically sick, just watch Kerry's mum put her sandals on. It's disgusting. They're like two, her feet are like two blocks of spam, yeah? And watching her try and squeeze them into her broken stocks is just... <sighs> I had this come through the post, and I got a few concerns about it. Firstly, this guy in the front looks really arrogant. Not the sort of guy I was expecting, if I'm honest. Well, the big day is approaching, and I can tell Curtin is a little anxious. Uh, this morning we had a few F's and Jeff's flying around, but that's totally understandable as he's on edge. I ain't joking now, Vicar. This is starting to stress me out a little bit. Look, Curtin, I'm sure the pattern on the carpets in the classrooms aren't going to be a problem. How many times do I have to tell you? Swirls on carpets freak me the fuck out. What if I have an epileptic fit? I am feeling lightheaded just thinking about it. Curtin, I know you're feeling a bit anxious. It's a big step but it's normal to feel this way. And another thing, I've been looking at the menu in the cafeteria, yeah? I wonder if you could be so kind in telling me what the fuck is pesto? So, as I say, he's a bit on edge, but we've had a good chat, and I think he's, um, really looking forward to it again now.